welcome back. Muslim leaders are snubbing the mayor of New York City and skipping his annual year-end interfaith breakfast. They say they're upset over a report that the NYPD, the New York City Police Department, spied on Muslim communities after 9-11. The NYPD has denied it targeted Muslims specifically, saying it was only following leads. Joining us now from Washington is Nihad Awad, National Executive Director of the Council on American Islamic Relations. Thanks so much for being here with us. First question, first of all, list the tactics that you find particularly troubling. Good morning, Deb. Um, Yes, uh, uh, first let me say that uh, we have the utmost respect to, uh, for um, uh, Mayor Bloomberg and uh, especially for his uh, courageous stance in support of the constitutional rights of American Muslims to build a cultural Islamic center near the site of the World Trade Center mm -hmm. uh, that was engulfed in controversy last year. And the, the ties between the Muslim community and the mayor's office and the the New York Police Department is really good. I was a witness to many functions where I saw, uh, like Commissioner Kelly, engaging the Muslim community. Because of this kind of excellent relationship, we're very upset to uh, hear through AP reports that the New York Police Department has been engaged in spying tactics and surveillance programs against the Muslim community. So 250 uh, Islamic centers, uh, mosques, schools, uh, businesses, cab drivers, uh, almost who's who in the Muslim community has been spied on. So these tactics, uh, without uh, you know due process, without evidence of crime, we believe it's unconstitutional, it's unlawful, and that's where the shock comes from. That right. the, the mayor, when he when he knew about this, he should have condemned it. He should have investigated it. Uh, the leaders in the community there uh, communicated with his office and wrote him a letter declining respectfully the invitation because it is an opportunity to send a message that this is wrong. Now, uh, um, it's interesting, the NYPD did give us a statement and, and I do want to read it. They say, quote, contrary to such assertions, the NYPD lawfully follows leads in terrorist-related investigations and does not engage in the kind of wholesale spying on communities that was falsely alleged. So they're basically saying, no, it, it, it didn't happen. They're not spying per se. However, let's, just to play devil's advocate, look, you know, there have been, the NYPD says there have been 44 known terrorists who have come from this area, obviously New York City, a central target or a key target still, even now, isn't the NYPD responsible for developing information, for developing intelligence, um, even if it means confidential informants or moles? Isn't this intelligence that we're talking about? No, no, it's not. In fact, we support the uh, New York Police Department in their efforts to safe, uh, safeguard you know, lives and all, all, all New Yorkers, including Muslims. But to be engaged in wholesale ethnic and religious profiling, uh, that's wrong. And let me say that they have a, a unit called the, called the demographics unit, with the, which means if you're a Muslim, uh, you're subject to being targeted for spying. Even according to the AP report, it showed that the friends, the, the prominent figures who are engaged in outreach with the police department have been spied on. So how can they deny this? These documents mm -hmm. are online, AP revealed them, right. they're not fabricated, and they just have to come to reality. They have just to, um, you know, admit that it is wrong. And instead of just continue to defending it, I think they should just have to investigate it and build on the great relationship that they have with the Muslim community. So these partnerships are built on trust. And mm. these tactics hurt every trust that we need to right. make New York stronger, uh, you know, coherent. And, and, and the relationship between the police department and the community is very crucial, and right. these tactics hurt that relationship. Sure, so the outreach efforts, even the trust has been undermined, and very quickly, yes or no, do you think the Justice Department should investigate? Uh, we requested an investigation, uh, including the involvement of the CIA, which is prohibited right. by Congress to spy on Americans. Okay, uh, Nihad Awad, thank you very much. We really thank appreciate you. your insights into this topic this morning. Thank you. You're welcome.